best software library for modeling and simulation of solar desalination systems. www.redslibrary.com Hi everybody, uh, first of all, I'm sure for you. Uh, let's do today uh, talk about uh, how to run uh, concentrated solar gas engines. Uh, briefly, what is the main concept? What is available configurations and applications? How to run uh, our model uh, via Ritz Library? Okay. First of all, uh, simply as the concept of uh, um, uh, solar concentrated solar gas engines. We know it's uh, the famous one is uh, Stirling engine. It's a, just a solar powered by Stirling engine concept. Um, for it's considered a heat engine powered by uh, a temperature gradient generated by uh, uh, the sun. Uh, uh, um, the focus technique uh, on a focal point. A parabolic dish reflector is normally used to concentrate sunlight uh, to a receiver located uh, at the focal point of the dish. Uh, uh, this absorbs energy reflected by the concentrators, enabling fluid, maybe air, helium, nitrogen, uh, in the receiver container to be heated to approximately uh, 700 degrees. Uh, this is then used to generate electricity in a small engine, uh, for instance, Stirling engine or a micro turbine attached to, the, to uh, uh, the receiver uh, space. Um, for the configuration, we have for Stirling engine, we have alpha, beta, gamma configurations. Uh, for Brighton engine, this is another configuration. There is some research about to replace Stirling engine with a small Brighton cycle engine. So in in this model, we are going to simulate uh, a simulink uh, library, a Stirling engine, and a Brighton engine. Okay. This is uh, the normal structure of a uh, concentrated solar uh, gas engine. Uh, it's a, as you can see, it's a parabola dish, focal point. Uh, this is the receiver. And so, uh, as a main advantage of, of such configuration, it's standard application for small of uh, grid systems. It can generate uh, for from. Uh, 25 up to 60s uh, kilowatt electricity. Very high conversion uh, efficiencies. Uh, peak solar uh, to electrical conversion of about 30 percent. Uh, modularity uh, hybrid. This is uh, uh, the engine, ceiling engine uh, put inside. This is a receiver cavity. Uh, this is a sink. Uh, this is uh, cold, cold space, and this is hot space. Okay, um, let's go and try to run uh, our model in order to uh, uh, discover the effect of different working gases. We are going to to uh, address uh, twelve working gases. This work. Uh, uh, is not done before. Which engine is most efficient? Which engine is most, most efficient? Is it Brighton uh, engine or Stirling engine? What is the design aspects? Uh, the effect on areas, area of the dish, area of the receiver, focal point lens, uh, specific volume, mass flow rates, and so on. Performance parameters such, such as uh, compression and pressure ratios, if thermal efficiencies, uh, and so on. Okay, uh, our model. Uh, after downloading your model, you have to specify. Uh, go to the, the your destination folder, okay, and try to run your model from it. Okay. Okay. This is our model. Uh, 
this is for two engines. Two possible engines are addressed in this uh, model: Sterling and Brighton engines. Okay, let's see. This is a, a brief a description about the process and so on. From the beginning, let's select our data, specify or assign our data. Okay. For design, we have to choose between Sterling and Brighton. Suppose I'm going to select the Brighton engine. Uh, yes, this is, um, these are the, uh, the gases. We have monatomic category. Monatomic category, helium, argon, neon, krypton, xenon, and so on. Uh, for uh, diatomic, we have air, hydrogen, nitrogen, for polyatomic gases, we have uh, carbon dioxide, ammonia, methane, uh, actually. Okay, let's see, uh, let's see uh, carbon dioxide. Okay, suppose we are going to uh, to generate one megawatt, okay, as a whole plant. Okay, a rim engine, rim angle, uh, maybe for the dish, I think it's uh, 37 is, is fine. Top cycle temperature. I'm, you can you can uh, specify top cycle temperature as a matrix. I mean, we can we specify as a matrix or specify your uh, points. But I'm going here to specify one one point. Suppose it's seven hundred and fifty. This is the sink temperature is the ambient. I will consider it as twenty five as a normal. Uh, uh, this is uh, if you are going to to see the tutorial or something like that. Okay. Operating conditions. Uh, f operating operation operating hours is ten. Solar radiation from the location. You can specify the solar radiation effect. Uh, I will consider it one thousand watt per meter square. This is ambient temperature. Okay. And this is atmospheric uh, environmental conditions. Okay. You can specify. Easily uh, for a sterling engine. Suppose we are uh, sure for the power, you can also uh, assign matrix that I mean, you can do it like this 25, uh, 30, 35, 40, 45. This is step you can assign it matrix. Okay, but I'm going to assign uh, a 25 kilowatt. You can assign a sterling piston diameter, uh, number of cylinder, uh, running speed. Okay, this for Brighton engine. Okay, oh, uh, for Brighton engine, I need 25 because we are going for uh, to working on Brighton engine. It's 25. Okay, performance, uh, generator efficiency, it's normal 95. Receiver efficiency, I think. It's uh, about uh, eighty percent because it's seventy-five, uh, seventy-five degrees Celsius. I think receiver efficiency little bit uh, lower than nineties. And this mirror efficiency, I'm going to to select aluminium. Okay, uh, aluminium. Uh, yes, uh, I think this is absolute. Activity, it's okay. Ninety-four. Uh, cost analysis, I will keep it. Okay, if, sure. You can change uh, based on your uh, design aspects. Okay. Let's run our model. Okay. Uh, choosing Python cycle. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's collect our results. So for Brighton, Brighton engine, uh, concentrated solar dish with uh, Brighton engine. Okay, this is this dish con uh, concentration ratio, 1,200. Total plant area is around uh, 8,000 meters square. This is the dish area, 200.5. Okay, 200.5. Uh, this is the dish diameter, it's a huge diameter, uh, dish height, receiver area, uh, receiver diameter, uh, uh, rim angle, 
uh, focal length uh, number of dishes we are going to use 40 40 dishes in order to generate one megawatt okay this is a total plant cost this is total plant cost uh, for the engine itself we have compression ratio 1.8 this is for co2 okay co2 compression ratio uh, maximum specific volume uh, minimum specific volume uh, top top cycle pressure top uh, pressure ratio 2.24 outlet com uh, compressor temperature outlet turbine temperature turbine temperature compressor power turbine power uh, mass flow rate of the gases uh, rpm of the turbine uh, total capital cost for the engine okay suppose we are going to specify another working fluid let it be uh, um, from helium yes let's try helium and watch the compression and pressure ratios okay yes it changed it yes 1.3 and pressure ratio is 1.5 okay let's try another one let's try um for example ammonia okay okay 1.7 and 2.15 yes it's it uh, let's try working on a sterling engine um for for the same specification i mean uh as you can see here this is the dish area um, the dish diameter, this area. Let's try for stealing engine with ammonia for sure for one megawatt and the same. Yes, stealing design 25 kilowatts, right in 25. It's okay. Let's see for stealing. Is it the same dish area? I think it's lower. Yes, uh, it's uh, 95. Comparing uh, against Brighton cycle, it's 95. This diameter from 16 up to 11. Uh, so I think economically or based on design aspects, uh, this compression ratio is nine uh, for uh, the stirring engine. The stirring is uh, stirring engine is most efficient the Brighton cycle under such uh, configuration sure you can add this more parameter you can uh, change some parameters and so on and let's see if we are going to assign data from 500 step with 50 for cycle temperature effect of cycle temperature or uh, up to 800 degrees Celsius okay we still 50 for the ceiling it will show us a matrix results as you can see here so uh, it's a matrix this is the variation against the temperature difference uh sure this is area this area dish for brighton area dish s is for sterling let's try to to do some figures yes this is the effect of uh, top cycle temperature on the dish area so increasing top cycle temperature means uh, means that the receiver uh, received a huge amount of energy and converted uh, such thermal energy uh, and such uh, into the power and this is uh, uh, normally f reflected on the dish area itself and sure the total area you can total area yes it's decreasing and, and so on you you can uh, find many many parameters to address I think this is the pressure yes pressure increasing uh, this is the stroke this is the stroke 
engine stroke uh, for sterling you can extract stroke piston volume uh, top side top pressure in kilopascal uh, pressure ratio sure pressure ratio is increased uh, let's try to assign another air let's go for air okay uh, let's see yes pressure is changed and so on uh, you can address many parameter um, via such technology and address uh, a lot of things so you have uh, um, the flexibility to flexibility to uh, address many parameter uh, many parameters you can address um, I'm going again for 700 uh, let's change the, the power for the practice cycle I am going for um, from 10 10 kilowatt step 5 kilowatt up to uh, 60 kilowatts uh, okay let's choose a brighter engine with air it's uh, di diatomic gases with rim angle uh, I think 37 that's, that's fine okay uh, let's, let it be 800 degrees Celsius uh, for Brighton cycle let's see yes mm, as you can see here we have uh, focal lens uh, Brighton efficiency total plan cost, uh, compression ratio, uh, and so on, and so on. So we can find, this is the total dish area, yes, it's increasing because uh, we increased the power from 10, from 10 up to uh, uh, 60 or 30, oh, okay, let's draw the area with as uh, the power mm. as you can see here this is the power of uh, Brighton engine yes this one with uh, this area let's see yes this from 10 kilowatts up to 60 kilowatts and this is this area variation um, I mean if you are going to design your dish at 10 kilowatts you have to consider this area of uh, your dish and so on so uh, as you can see uh, this model is, is is very effective you can attach this model with reverse osmosis uh, desalination plants with uh, bombs with any uh, uh, any load um, it's easy by simulink you can uh, specify the power of the source and you can use this uh, stealing engine in order to generate uh, suppose I'm going to uh, generate uh, 100 megawatts 300 megawatts 1 megawatts I, I showed you an example of 1 megawatts and you can you have the uh, flexibility to choose between 12 uh, uh, gases the atomic category uh, uh, poly, monatomic, polyatomics, and so on. Uh, thank you for watching, but don't forget to download uh, our latest uh, publications on redcelebrity.com. And thank you for watching. You can like, share, subscribe. And thank you very much for uh, following us.